Hi, my name is Pedro Alves and I am presenting my paper Strategies for Sustainable Development of the UNESCO Creative Cities Conclusions from the 11th UNESCO Creative Cities Network Annual Meeting 2017. I would like to apologize for not being able to join you in Orlando and to thank the organizing committee for allowing me to make this presentation through video. So let's get started. The UNESCO Creative Cities Network, UCCN, was launched in 2004 as a program devoted to cultural, social, economic and environmental sustainability, establishing culture as a key factor in urban development politics, as well as promoting cities' commitment towards the share of best practices and cultural industries' experience and collaboration. UCCN is divided in seven different creative fields – crafts and folk arts, design, film, gastronomy, literature, media arts and music. By 2016, UCCN integrated 116 cities from 54 countries worldwide within these creative clusters. In order to evaluate and share the experiences and projects that each city develops within UCCN, every year an annual meeting takes place in one of its creative cities. We were able to attend and observe the main sessions of the 2017's UCCN annual meeting in Anguille-les-Bains, which resulted in a non-published report. We used this report and official documentation from the United Nations and UNESCO to observe the correspondences and contrasts between theory-based documentation and the empirical conclusions from the meeting. In 2015, the United Nations launched the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The main objective of this document was a long-term commitment to accomplish 17 Sustainable Development Goals. These SDGs established a framework for different countries, cities and realities, orienting, quote, the effective translation of sustainable development policies into concrete action at the national level, end quote. By 2016, a new urban agenda was also adopted by the UN to underpin the goals and targets inscribed in the 2030 Agenda while adjusting and intensifying UN's framework for their implementation on a local, national and international level. Also in 2016, a report titled Culture Urban Future highlighted and confirmed culture as a crucial component for urban development, especially through SDG 11 that aims to make cities and human settlements safe, resilient and sustainable. Within this context of culture-driven action, the UNESCO Creative Cities Network represents a fundamental hub for a whole set of guidelines, projects, initiatives and cooperative partnerships related to creative and cultural urban solutions. The UCCN annual meetings represent the formal gathering and a perfect opportunity for all seven groups of creative cities to share their experiences, align intergroup strategies and discuss their needs and future initiatives along with UCCN coordination and UNESCO representatives. The 11 UCCN annual meeting had several sessions, but for the scope of this research, we focused only on those specifically addressing the work of the Creative Cities delegates and representatives, along with UCCN and UNESCO Secretariat. Here are some of the main conclusions from the non-published report on the annual meeting. The UCCN Steering Group was established in 2014 and ensures interface between UNESCO Secretariat and the coordinators and vice coordinators of the seven creative fields. The Steering Group working session allowed to understand not only the working dynamics of this particular assembly, but also a privileged updated panorama on some of the main struggles, needs and future initiatives and ideas designed by UNESCO and the creative fields coordinators. This debate allows the several Creative Cities Group and the UNESCO representatives to work together towards solutions and improvements that are fundamental to the evolution of the network. Also, it was an important start for the meeting's agenda, as it allowed discussing aspects that would later be transferred to inner group discussions and translated at the end of the event into specific conclusions and future measures within a new strategic framework. One of the highlights of the 11th annual meeting was the Mayor's Forum, with brief presentations from city official representatives on the main creative and cultural initiatives performed by and in their respective cities. 
Perhaps the most important outcome of this session was the presentation of a document signed by all the mayors and mayor representatives gathered in the meeting. The mayor's declaration reinforced the close partnership between the political powers and the cultural representatives of the UNESCO creative cities. It responded to the lack of proximity between local official institutions and UNESCO creative cities representatives and also reinforced the network's mission, objectives and relevance within the 2030 agenda. It was a symbolic act meant to enhance the commitment of all local and national political forces involved in the network with a clear focus on encouraging and delivering initiatives and projects that, through the UCCN scope, will enhance local urban development through culture and creativity. In the meeting's final plenary session, a document with 14 conclusions was also presented. These conclusions highlight the main future strategies, outcomes and endeavors designed from and for the members of the network in order to enhance UCCN's full potential and desired results. They clearly focus on some of the major needs and the struggles identified in the steering group working session, as well as point out the importance of the commitment of the mayors through the declaration presented at the mayors' forum, showing the will for greater proximity between the creative city's focal points and political official representatives. It is an important statement in order to establish commitments to rearrange UCCN's dynamics and framework, as well as to ensure a fully sustainable development of UCCN towards an integration of new cities and countries in the network that does not compromise the quality of the initiatives and projects undertaken by current member cities. One final major outcome of this annual meeting was the adoption and presentation of a new strategic framework for the network. This strategic framework defines what is the network and how it has been working in the past years up until now, as well as contextualizes UCCN within the 2030 Agenda and the new Urban Agenda. It draws a collective vision for the future of the network based on three main aspects. The strategic objectives of the network, UCCN's priorities and future action plan, and the implementation mechanisms for the referred objectives and priorities. So, this overview on the 2017 UCCN annual meeting allowed a clear understanding of how the network enhances the goals of UNESCO. It confirmed the alignment of the priorities, strategies and initiatives undertaken by the network with the 2030 Agenda and the new Urban Agenda. It also confirmed the effectiveness and responsiveness of the UCCN coordination to what urges in terms of improving the network, with clear and undisputed documents that determine action plans for the years to come. The 2017 expansion of the network with new 64 cities means new opportunities for cultural knowledge, partnerships and experiences. The integration of these new members will be a key factor for the successful implementation of UCCN's mission. Nevertheless, the city's focal points and representatives must ensure that this potential is fully delivered through more and better culture-based initiatives and cooperation in order to extend the fulfillment of these goals. The close involvement of political, regional and national authorities is fostered by initiatives as the Mayor's Forum and enhanced by commitments as the Mayor's Declaration. They might be decisive to guarantee the conditions that UCCN Creative City representatives need to deliver the network's intended outcomes and results. As the time for this presentation was very limited, more information on this research can be found in the conference proceedings text. Here is also my email. If you have any questions, I am happy to answer them. Thank you all for your attention and I wish you a great conference.